19 years in our math department. Uh, most recently, though, he's really focused right now. He's got quite a few of his, his uh, athletes out there. He is in pursuit of our first state championship in, in track. So uh, they're very focused, and he's very focused. So we want to wish you the best of luck, and thanks for all you've done for our, our students. Next up, uh, we have Steve Hereford. Steve? Steve's been in our English department for 21 years. He's also helped with our uh, multicultural club, and he's been an assistant coach for our bass fishing team. He's probably best known for growing the hottest peppers in Central Illinois. So that's his, his forte. I'm sure he'll be doing more of that in retirement. But we're going to miss Steve also uh, in the freshman advisory, the freshman academy. He's been a big uh, asset down there. So Steve Hereford. I'm pleased this evening to introduce Mary Nelson. She's our retiree this year, and she's here with her family, and Roger and boys Tony and Steven and her granddaughter. And um, Mary's been in, in Dunlap as a teacher for 26 years, but she's a graduate of Dunlap, and she really loves Dunlap, believes in Dunlap. And, and I'll say this about Mary. I asked her, you know, is there anything she'd like me to mention in particular? And she had lots of suggestions for me, and, th and that's what I'll leave it at, is Mary always has lots of suggestions for me. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate about Mary, is her honesty. Whether you want to hear it or not, if you ask her, she's going to tell you. And it's always insightful what she has to say, and it's real. So I will miss that the most about you, Mary. I'll miss your friendship, and everybody at Dunlap Middle School is going to miss you, as well as everyone in the district. So congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm honored tonight uh, to recognize Anna Bailey on her retirement. Anna, if you could stand and come on up. <coughs> Anna has been an ESL teacher in the district for the last seven years. Uh, Anna, we're going to miss um, all of your experience and leadership and the passion that you have for our English language learners. Um, I know that you're excited to join your husband, Steve, yes. in retirement. Um, a year and a half later, so good luck, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's got plans for travel. Um, they have a trip planned to Colorado as soon as school uh, lets out, and you have another trip, a fun trip planned. Two, St. Thomas, and then Ooh. Ireland. I think I'm going to look forward to retiring when this happens for me. Um, but what, one thing that I would like to mention. Uh, that I think Anna will enjoy the most about retirement is that she is a diehard Cubs fan. Yes. And so she will be able to enjoy um, following the Cubs and attending games uh, this summer. So congratulations to Anna. Thank you, Jim. she's done for us. She started in the district in 1990 uh, as a copier and she had, uh, had various various jobs but we held a surprise assembly for her today and I wasn't sure if she was going to come back to work after that because uh, I don't know if she was going to kill me or if she was going to be happy about it. So she, she dealt with it but uh, she's just been an amazing person. She has a lot of, uh, she's got a grandchild that she's ready to spend more time with and her husband's been retired for a few years and they plan on doing a lot of traveling including Florida and the uh, five parks in Utah. So they have a great trip planned. They're going to be taking that trip when the start of school starts 
And I think she said her cell phone's going to be out of service. We won't be able to call her for anything. But let's wish uh, Debbie Beggar a happy time. Thank you. wanted to say thank you so much on behalf of the board and the parents and the community to all of you who've served our district and for the wonderful things you've done. Many of you have been on the front lines uh, working with our students and touching their lives and impacting them positively and we can't really thank you enough for your dedication and all your hard work and your patience and the time you've put in. So thank you so much and best wishes on a happy retirement.